What's going on? Back again with another one. Just want to get a couple things off the chest. It's a lot of stuff going on. Really too much to deal with at one time. So, let's get it. Okay, first thing I would like to say. Rest in peace. A rest in power to DMX and the man Black Rock. It's a lot of talk going around about it should be healthcare and the music industry and stuff like that. I don't know. I, I try not to get into those type of politics or whatever, whatever the case might be. I hate when people get down and they look for health reasons or or whatever the case might be. I ain't gonna say nobody was on alcohol or drugs or whatever, but you know, you know that's that's not for me to judge nobody. You know, everybody got people in their family that they go through things, and you know, everybody take things differently. So, you know, my thing here in my community, that's a lot of people that pass away and don't have no type of insurance or they don't put no money back for those type of things. You know, that's something that, that people don't like to talk about. But you can either get your a life insurance policy or the minimum is $10,000, what they ask for, for a basic burial. I don't know anything about uh, cremations or nothing like that, because you know, I ain't into that, but you know, I'm, I'm sure it's a whole lot cheaper than, than uh, a burial of $10,000, but you know, instead of, if you know, if you old school and you don't believe in in paying for, for a life insurance policy or whatever, because you know, if you don't get in there while you're in good health, the insurance company is not gonna sell you a policy with a pre-existing condition. So, so if you plan it on doing it, it's best to do it while you're young or with a life insurance policy, just like an insurance policy, you're just paying people money just in case something might happen. So instead of you paying them, you know the basic policy to put you in the ground is $10,000. You can put back some money a month for that. And it's like, you know, a lot of people, you know, they, they, they spend a lot of money on cars and all the stuff that don't really mean nothing, you know to each his own on what you want to do with your money or whatever. You know me, I'd rather put my money in some property or pay for the house that I'm staying in. You know what I'm saying? All my vehicles pay for, you know. I listen to Dave Ramsey, you know. Best thing to do is be debt free. Instead of, instead of doing all that, buy you some houses or whatever, or some property. So if you do fall on bad time, you always got a place to stay. Don't lease no house, buy a house. Cause you can always sell at home and get your money back. You buy a car for eighty to a hundred thousand dollars, you sell that car, you gonna get back what you got in it. You might put some rims or whatever you put on it. I mean, you know, that ain't gonna raise the value of it up, no. Start your business. Just because you make money don't mean you got to spend it all. Can't take it with you. Always good to enjoy your life and your family. And the next thing, it's too much senseless killing going on. Whether it's the mass shooting, the police killing, it's just too much senseless killing going on. I mean, I done been out there. I done done my thing, but you know, that's beside the point. But another thing, we need to go back to the old school. We need to start back policing our own community. And we got to need to take these young kids up on our wing. Because like a 16 year old girl lost her life, that didn't make sense. It didn't make sense at all. I understand, you know, the, the situation with the video. I don't want to get all into that, you know, cause that ain't what I'm here for. But, we need to st stop standing by recording the fights. If you're, gonna, if you're gonna get into a situation or altercation with somebody, you do what you got to do, but stop recording. 
because there's evidence and you gonna, you gonna record somebody's death. And they family got to sit up and, and, and watch, watch this senseless killing. When you could have just done a little bit, done, scratched for a few minutes, broke it up and went on to the house. Cause you know anytime the police get involved with something like that, it's not going to end well. It's not going to end well. And, and, we, and, we see, and we see this time and time again, it's not going to end well. Cause I know when I leave the house, I want to, I want to come back the same way I left. I mean, cause I try not to deal. I deal with them as less as possible. Cause if if, a, if one roll up on me, I keep a Gladlock bag, a Samus bag, with my license. I know not my license. I keep that in my wallet. Let me, let me bag back. Gladlock bag with my registration in it. My insurance in it. So I ain't got to reach for nothing. When they pull me over, I already have it where I can just hand it to them. I keep it above my, my sun visor. I do as less talking as possible. Because one, one thing about dealing with the police or dealing with somebody at work, a person will not argue with themselves. Like Willie D from the Ghetto Boys used to say all the time, I don't do all that tongue rasher. And I don't talk because I got lips. I let them say what they gonna say and go on. If they gonna write me a ticket, they gonna give me a ticket, they gonna take me to jail, they gonna take me to jail. I don't volunteer information. You tell me why you pulled me over. You tell me what you gonna do. If you're going to arrest me, you're going to arrest me. If you're going to, if you're going to let me go, you're going to let me go. You ask me to get out of the car, I'm not going to ask you what for, because you already looking for a reason. For, for you to say, I didn't comply. So we need to stop giving these people reason to pull their gun. Because they already got the hand on the gun when they get out of anyway. Because a lot of people... I already scared. It ain't like back in the day where the officers knew everybody in the neighborhood or uh, they were from the neighborhood or whatever, but now, you know, things go bad. Everybody needs a job. But it ain't like it used to be. So just remember, man, keep the family, uh, Black Rob, DMX in your, in your prayer. You know, for all the, all the people out there that's going through things, I'm not saying that they going through it or whatever the case might be. I'm not saying they got a mental illness or a drug problem or whatever, but you know, that's what's going on a lot around here a lot we don't talk about. Uh, it's a lot of mental illness out here. That's why you see a lot of mass shooting. There's a lot of substance abuse going on in the industry and in society because everybody think it's cool. You turn on the TV now, everybody want to either drink, smoke weed, pop pills. That's cool. But long term, I mean, you you think about right now, but 20 years from now, when your health start to fail, because I got a brother right now, he, he drank like a fish, but you know, you can't help nobody until they want to help themselves. I ain't trying to preach to nobody. I ain't trying to say I'm better than nobody else. But like I said, I can speak from experience. I done a lot of shit when I was 15, all the way up to I was 20. Yeah, I drunk every day. Every day. When I got off, I used to hit the bar and eat some fried chicken. My meal of choice was hot wings and beer. And I, and I drank all the way up to like two or three o'clock in the morning. Went home, took a shower, went to work. Done my thing out there on the streets and went to work. But since I became a family man, 
I, I, I roll different. Like I watched a video where the brother said, it made a whole lot of sense. You know, just because just because you ain't never been to the pen, that don't make you real or not. You know what I'm saying? That meant you was the one who rolled in silence. You know what I'm saying? You didn't you wouldn't lie when in the crowd. You know what I'm saying? Just because you go to the pen, that don't make you real. That means you got caught. There's a lot of people out here that done done dirt that ain't never been caught. But like I said, everybody just invest your money, treat everybody the same. Man, stop, stop. Everybody ain't got to just fight and do all that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Defend yourself if need be, but just because, just because a person talking to you, you know what I'm saying? Words can't hurt you. Now, if a person puts their hands on you, you got to defend yourself by any means, like Malcolm said. But a wise man walks away first. Don't worry about what everybody else say, because you know what? When I was young, we used to see them little cats. You know, they let the let them old heads hype them up jump on somebody outside a restaurant or whatever the case might be. And after they done done that and done jumped on them and the police walk and when, when, when the laws get there and take them to jail, they'll slide on out the way, get in their car be like, man, man, I hate a, I hate little Jimmy and them. Man, they jumped on a boy like that, man. They didn't even have to do them like that. And they go into the house and guess where you going? You going to jail. People will hype you up and then they'll let you down. I'm talking about, man, man, I got your back, man. I'm gonna do this for you. Yeah, they're gonna do something for you, all right? Talk to your old lady. Talk about how stupid you are. Gotta start using your brain. It's just a video that I put together, man. It ain't much, man, but you know. Somebody might relate to it. Somebody might not watch it or whatever the case might be. It is what it is. Y'all have a good day. Peace out.